Good evening. We are from Anomaly Detection Team, and we are going to showcase our hackathon project, Anomaly Detection on Images. This product will be useful for detecting defects in manufacturing industries, healthcare, and other diverse business use cases. We are using unsupervised learning for training. This means that we train our models only using defect free images of the product. Once the model is trained, we can determine different types of anomalies that may show up during the detection phase. Now, let's take a look at the sample training data set. As you can see, here we have varying images of a hazelnut. These are images taken at a different angle, different lighting. However, these are all defect free images. Essentially, for any use case, the training images should cover all the variability of a defect free product. This is how the training UI will look like. So, we have four available training algorithms. Each of these algorithms carry out anomaly detection in different ways and have different resource requirements. Some algorithms have minimal resource overhead and can be trained on CPUs, while other algorithms such as Vision Transformer make use of GPUs and can benefit from distributed training. To train a model, the user needs to upload the data set, select a training algorithm, provide a model name, and press Start. Here we see some of the sample training images, and the training process has begun. This takes a bit of time, so let's move to the detection phase. This is how the detect UI will look like. Now let's look at sample response of our hazelnut use case. We have uploaded two images and we select the model that we just trained. And let's take a look at the response. For each image, the model returns four images. The first one is the raw image that the user uploaded. The second one is a boundary image, wherein we highlight the anomalous region. The third one is a heat map where all concerning regions are highlighted. Whereas the fourth one is a segmentation image where we segment or highlight the anomalous region again. Now, if you look at the second image, we have no anomalies and thus no region is highlighted. Therefore, it has a low anomaly score as compared to the first one where anomaly is highlighted and thus it has a higher anomaly score. We also give customer the ability to fine tune the sensitivity parameter. Here, they can adapt the model to the severity of anomalies. Thereby, depending on the business use case, they can detect the smallest of defects or only flag major flaws. Now let's take a data set from a different industry. Let's use a pre-trained model of a cable, select a bunch of varying images, uh, leave the sensitivity to its default value and press the detect button. Now in the output, we see the first image is free from any defect. Uh, now the second one is interesting. We are able to segment and find out two different kinds of anomalies. The first one is bent wire and missing copper. For the third image, we are again able to find out the anomalous region, which has some bent wire. Whereas in the fourth one, we have a more subtle anomaly of a poke in the insulation, and we are able to find that as well. This is how unsupervised techniques are useful, and they are able to detect different anomalies that we did not see before. Now let's look at the final details in our presentation. We'll talk a little bit more about the need for image-based AD in the industry and how we differ from our potential competitors. This approach is widely used in the industry because defects are a costly problem and lead to a significant loss of the total revenue. There are several diverse use cases, healthcare, aviation, and the semiconductor industry. We've evaluated the performance of three different types of algorithms across different products and have state-of-the-art performance and standard benchmark datasets. During our research, we found out that different algorithms work better for different use cases. Industrial use cases will benefit from the first model where variability among products is limited. Vision Transformer is useful for medical imaging where images have high variability. Our approach uses unlabeled data and this is a solution not available in the market. However, there is AWS AD Lookout, which is a supervised approach. It doesn't offer image segmentation to our customers to highlight anomalies or the ability to detect new types of anomalies. In this hackathon, we were able to try out a few potential product features like distributed training and drift detection. Features that could potentially be useful to customers include grouping anomalies by type, alerts, enhanced pre-processing pipelines, and being able to detect anomalies on video data. So I hope we've demonstrated how this can be a valuable addition to the catalog of Oracle AI cloud services. Thank you for offering us an opportunity to demonstrate our service idea. 
we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks.